the more leads arrive on your Hotspot portal, the more your email audience will grow. And it's from this point that it's important to master communication with these leads to either keep them informed of your news with a newsletter or accompany them on their buying journey with nurturing email campaigns. In this video, we'll see how to set up and send marketing emails with Hotspot to get the most value from your email list. But before everything, we need to make the difference between the three types of emails in Hotspot. We have the transactional emails, which are invoice, forgotten password, etc., etc. The same sales email, which are direct communication with a lead, and marketing email, which aim to send content with a marketing purpose to a predefined recipient list or via a defined sending process. Today, we will focus on the later marketing emails. So the first thing we need to do, like for any implementation of marketing assets on a spot, is to go into our settings tool marketing email. On this setting page, you will be able to create your footer with your company information. And basically you have to, because a spot will not let you send any email without your company information. So you click on edit and you need to fill all your different company information, at least in the property space they have a asterisk on. Once that's done, you click on save and you can continue your setting. Then you will be able to modify the design presets of your email to match your visual identity. You can also modify them if necessary on a case-by-case -case basis when drafting emails, but the idea is to save some time, so take five minutes to make it match your brand identity. You will also be able to define default values for the personalization tokens in your emails because a spot allows you to personalize your communication by using the known properties of a contact. For example, you can write hello first name and Martin will receive hello Martin instead of hello first name. Defining default values allows a spot to enter a value if the personalization property has no value for the recipient. For example, if we don't know the first name of our recipient, we can set friend as a default value and a spot will send hello friend. So to do so, click on edit default, choose the property you want to insert a default value for and here you can add friend. So that way, if you send a mail with hello first name and a spot doesn't know the first name of a specific lead, you will receive hello friend. Of course, you will be able to modify it case by case in your email editor tool. But if you know that some properties, you will use them like almost every email communication, such as first name or company name, I advise you to take the time to make these default values to save some time when you will work on your emails later on. And you can also modify the RSS dates and times of your emails. The subscription tab now allows you to set up the different pages and, and rules related to the subscriptions of the distribution list because you are supposed to send emails only to people subscribed to a specific distribution list corresponding to your email. So you need to take the time to check all these different pages and modify them by clicking on edit to make it match your policy and your brand identity as well. You will also find different options to modify the subscription and unsubscription journey of your leads. And then you can go to subscription types. So as I said before, you are only supposed to send emails to leads that subscribe to a specific diffusion list. So you have the marketing information, which is for all marketing emails, customer service communication for all the customer service emails and the one-to-one -one, which is like a sales kind of email. You can create all the subscription types you want but remember that every mail you will create need to belong to one of the different subscription types you defined. The tracking tab is basically set up to allow you to collect as much information as possible about the performance of your emails but it is possible to juggle with the settings if you find it useful. Then the SMTP tab is simply disguise advertising for a transactional email add-on that is not of interest for the purpose of this video and can be pretty costly. And depending on your subscription, you will have access or not to the send frequency settings where you can regulate the number of marketing emails received by your lead over a given period. It's really useful to avoid spamming your leads. But now that everything is well set up, all we have left to do is to introduce the marketing emails tool. Just a quick break to inform you that this video is part of a free training focusing on how to set up your hotspot portal in the most efficient way possible. This free training will be divided into seven big modules, each addressing a specific key point of your hotspot portal. 
and each module consists into several videos that will go deeper into a specific functionality or feature of your hotspot portal. If it's not already the case when you watch this video, the videos in this series will be published gradually and they will be added to this specific playlist. I have also prepared a private web page bringing together all the different content of this free training and some additional bonus content. So to benefit of this free content and to be notified for every new chapter that is releasing, I invite you to click on the link in the description below. To do this, you need to go to marketing email. And if you have been following this series from the beginning, you must be guessing that on this page, you will find a list of all sent, published and draft emails of your hotspot portal. And to create your first email, click on create email. And here the first choice is offered to you, which allows me to explain an important difference. Basically, a spot classifies emails into three categories. The manual emails, regular emails, automated emails and blog RSS emails. RSS is used to push automated newsletter listing new blog posts, for instance, to people subscribed to the corresponding subscription type. But what's interesting is the difference between regular and automated email. We have two ways of sending emails, either via a send to a tea time to an A audience, as in the case of a newsletter, for instance. So for instance, I want this list to receive this communication on February 20th, or either via automation. I want that as soon as a lead matches this situation, they receive this email. Thus, the email will be sent to each lead individually according to their own journey. The simplest example for that use is to send an email containing our lead magnet as soon as a lead fills out a form. So if we have to caricature these two options, regular emails are for newsletter and automated emails are for nurturing. Automated emails are most often used in workflows, a feature that is reserved for Pro Plus accounts but you can still get some benefit from them thanks to the simplified automation of the startup plan, allowing you to send a single email upon completion of a specific form. The good news is that the process of creating these emails is the same, so you can choose the one that interests you the most. As part of our series, we will want to create a nurturing email, so we click on Automated. Then you can choose the templates you want to use to create your email, so you can choose already made templates, but my little favorite is plain email, as I think is way more natural to, re to receive this text email than to have like a really colorful with a lot of pictures email that looks to me a bit too much commercial or too much newsletter-ish. So you choose the template you want. And like for other marketing assets, emails are built in the form of blocks. So it's up to you to shape it as you want. The biggest advantage of Uspot emails is that they allow for hyper personalization of our content. You can basically use personalization token, you can use smart rules, you can create A-B test. So if you want to learn all the methods of personalizing your Uspot emails, I invite you to watch a video I made on this subject a few months ago. And once your email is perfectly written and designed, all you have to do is set the settings for it. So in the setting page, we'll be able to choose the name of the sender, the address that will send the communication. You can add a subject line and a preview text. You can change the internal email name that will remain in your hotspot portal. And as you know me, I like to use the breadcrumb nomenclature. So for instance, B2B UK MQL lead magnet sendings. You can choose the language of the email. It will not change the text you wrote, but it will change all the different options such as unsubscribe, uh, subscription management, etc., etc., which need to be adapted to the language of the people that will receive your communication. And the famous subscription type we mentioned about, you can choose the one you want. You can even create a new one directly from this tab. You can change the office location of the email. So basically here is F because I create I created shortly for this video and you can add it to a marketing campaign that I will explain in the next video. Once everything is done, you click on sending. If it's a automated email, when you click on publish, it will not be sent to anyone because we need to automate the sending through a workflow or through a simplified automation. But if it's a manual email, so newsletter type, you will be able to choose the date and hours of the sending you will be able to add a list of recipients and a list to exclude recipient from the first list. So make sure you define the sending list accordingly. And once you're ready, before doing anything, don't forget to send a test email to the email of your choice. And you can even pretend it's sent to Lucy 
so you will be able to test all the personalization token to see if everything is going well or not. Click on send test email, verify your email and once it's done you can click on review and publish. Once it's published you will arrive to the analysis tab of your email that will give you a lot of useful information about your email performance. We see the open rate, click rate, reply rate, delivery situation, heat map of your email with the different click and where it happens on your email, top clicked links, top engaged contacts, the time spent viewing your email, etc. etc. You basically have all the information you need to assess the performance of your email. In case of nurturing emails, I advise to set up more advanced nurturing workflows than a simple email. If you own a Uspot Pro version, this is possible and I've created a dedicated video on this topic to set up the most optimized and complete nurturing workflow possible. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, don't forget to put a thumbs up, to subscribe to this channel and to save this playlist to make sure you don't miss any new chapter of this free training. And don't forget the link in the description below that gives you this free access to all the content of this free training plus more additional content on how to set up your Uspot portal in the most efficient way possible. For those who are discovering me through this video, I'm Grégoire, a spot expert for more than seven years now, and I will see you very soon for more Uspot tips.